So because when I came out of the ashes of being bankrupt and started to apply these new principles and started closing deals, I was like, I'm back. Okay, so I think everything starts right here. Even the hard work that real estate and really anything you want to be successful at, even the hard work part, it comes from here and what your bigger reasons are. And that's what drives you. And wanting those bigger goals that most people don't achieve and that seem even unachievable to you. I think one of the key things is you're always learning. Everything's always changing and there's so much to learn and you always have to be adapting. It's the little things. It's the tiny things that can save your client's time when relaying information, when doing deals, when, when negotiating. It's the little things that save them time that go so far that they begin to love you. What would be your ideal situation? So I think there's two things holding you back. I think the biggest thing holding you all back is fear. You're scared, right? And there's, there's surface fear and there's deep fear. Second thing is time management which is what I was just talking about, you need to be thinking about for your clients. But even more importantly, you need to be thinking about it for your business. How can you save more time for you? What, what actions are more efficient? And one thing, the biggest thing you can do to bring someone value is to respect their time. And this is, the, this is what separates top producers and low producers. Understand the little things that you don't wanna do that if you would do them every day, what they add up to be over time, that's what separates the high producers and low producers. If you, if you cannot learn how to communicate with people verbally and create a scenario where they feel comfortable with you, it's gonna be really tough for you to succeed. If you're not out of your comfort zone, you're not growing.